Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Sagittarius for the month of October. It is a general reading, so it will not resonate with each and every one of you who are watching. If this does not sound like your story, check your moon sign or your rising sign. Your messages could be there, and if not, um, simply check back in the following week when I put out a new message for your sign. So, let's begin. Okay. <clears throat> Beginning over here, we have this card of um, fantasy. Um, it comes with the heart and it comes with the mermaid. So, um, the fantasy, um, I, I feel that both of these cards uh, are talking about fantasizing about someone you have very deep feelings for. Um, but um, there's conflict. It's possible this is a soulmate energy. I always think of soulmates when I look at this card. Um, it's um, It also talks about a love that uh, that is enduring. It talks about feelings and emotions. Okay. You may be, um, you see, we have this conflict here with the, with the birch. Um, there could have been a confrontation between you and this person. Um, somebody, they could be somebody who's very quick to anger or you were. We have the braid beneath, and the braid is, um, it's about uh, having um, a disagreement. So we had a disagreement, possibly um, it's, it's like two different belief systems or not being, um, having the same view on something. Yeah, you see, it comes with the uh, with the mask. Um, the mask is wearing two faces. Somebody has a hidden ag agenda. Um, somebody perhaps being false. I feel a very feminine energy here. I feel that um, she, if you are female, are looking back on the memory of a disagreement, of an argument, or a message, possibly, from the past, because she's looking down here at this camera. And although she kind of looks to the future, her mind is on the past on something that has taken place. Trying to shed light on something or be able to untangle uh, some type of uh, mess that has occurred. You see, we have the comb here. And it speaks to detangling something and uh, the, the lantern. Wildflowers speak to things in bloom, something blooming. It can be a, a past love returning, or it could be an awakening with regards to a love, okay, or a past love. Um, with the dice, we are um, looking at um, something someone could feel is risky or somebody um, is wanting to take a leap of faith or thinking of taking a leap of faith. But there's always that, you know, uh, it feels like for someone kind of risky, you know, am I going to win? Am I going to lose? 
um, the medicine card is here. So um, the health of a relationship uh, is like uh, under scrutiny. It's like um, being looked at. And I feel by both sides because I feel the masculine energy over here. Rebellion. Goodness. Um, okay, so it seems though that this may be based a lot upon somebody's belief system two differing belief systems like, like that you, can, you can't agree or you don't see things the same way somebody uh, it's like rebelling against an established set of rules order rising up against something someone mm, let me see somebody could have threw up a barrier somebody um, may something uh, they threw up a barrier because something perhaps uh, didn't feel right or went against their belief system and so they didn't want to do it so they uh, withdrew into their shell here with the snail so the situation here uh, with the snail can uh, be very fragile because of the differing belief systems I feel like uh, they're in there isolated because we also have the castle which speaks to isolation feeling alone thinking weighing things up just like the feminine energy over here who is thinking going over memories so there's and maybe you're both thinking about what needs to change here okay Because um, we have the key on the rebellion, on the uh, established order, uh, the rules. And somebody not agreeing with these rules <laughs> or not liking the order. Um, the key uh, says that a solution to this situation here can now be found. It unlocks things. Uh, it unlocks doors. It unlocks feelings. So the key can, uh, well, it could lock a door as well as unlock it. Um, but it is saying that you have the means and the answers to be able to solve this and if you don't have them you soon will because there's a transformation coming to this situation we have it here in the tombstone we have the airplane bringing it in okay so now it's very uh, important on these cards where everything is pointing and so we have the the nose of this plane pointing towards the bellows so the bellows is um, uh, bringing back a situation that died or died out or was dying out it, it's to fan it to bring it back to life so it is saying that you have the key the opportunity to be able to do this or you soon will somebody withdrew uh, I think that they were hurt in pain because uh, they come with the claw. They come with the wolf. And so they were not trusting. 
questioning one's intentions and withdrew to heal and to think or to think about healing. You see, we have them here um, on the mushrooms, okay? So the mushrooms, uh, it it's, uh, speaks to things that grow very quietly, hidden, uh, but they can grow rapidly, so they can be unseen. Um, they are hidden issues. Um, it, it speaks to the root cause of something. So because although there appears to be many mushrooms there, um, and it looks like they are separate, they are actually from the same fungus. It's just, you cannot see it, it's underground. So it's getting to the root cause of why um, or where this issue or all of these issues are coming from. Now it could be, um, see this, the male energy I'm feeling here is weighing things up. They're thinking about all of this. Now they may have trust issues they may not believe that, see, they're thinking that it's just going to be a fleeting uh, relationship. You, on the other hand, are over here, if you are the, the, the female energy, um, thinking of something long term. It's like you're on com completely different things here. But they are lonely and they are missing you. It's, I feel that the deeper problem here, uh, the fungus, really, is, is that lack of trust lack of trust um, I feel that this lack of trust um, this person clearly has trust issues resulted in this loss but you have the Sun on this so this is going to be cleared up um, there is illumination coming um, and um, giving you or bringing you uh, the answers you seek. The clock. Someone could feel with the clock that um, time is running out. Um, they could be getting anxious with regards to that. Um, but I feel that with, with this card, the clock, um, I feel that what you're looking for, because I feel somebody has been kind of holding back, maybe um, procrastinating on something. I feel that things are going to start to move and I'm going to say within uh, fairly quickly, I feel within a few weeks with this card being here. So if this is your story, there's going to be some type of movement that will kind of um, break the ice on this. So, you know, like the key would suggest, you, you will have the opportunity to unlock the door should you choose or lock it. You have free will. But um, I also feel that you will get some details here, perhaps details um, that you didn't have before or didn't know about um, pertaining to those mushrooms and those issues. So the sun is a very, very positive card to end this reading for and will shed light on the loss or and, you know, the issues. I thank you for watching, for liking and for sharing my videos and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has donated to my channel. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to you.